All right, so this year, the YouTube channel is coming back. It's been like, I don't know, um, five, maybe six years since I've actually posted a hunting video. Although I have a whole bunch more that I just haven't put on here. Um, this year, the entire season is going on there. I'm going to put every hunt that I do, um, most of which will not be kills. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, man. Um, but I'm going to bring you along for the journey this year. I'm going to do things a little bit different than I normally do. So maybe I'll teach you something. Maybe you guys will teach me something. I don't know. But anyways, throwing some corn out today. Um, I'll show you guys the trail here in a second. So there's really only one way to, to hunt right, and that's just a load it in there and do the work so I might have to sneak in here kind of quietly because trail cam pictures have deer coming through at about this time normally but it's time I got to do it so I'm going through there show you what it looks like coming into it it's a decent little trail right here that leads down to this field but my gut is they don't make it down to this field until it's very late, so that trail right through there absolutely mowed down. There's usually I haven't been hunting here long, but usually from what I've noticed, there's some scrapes that are down on that little road bed that we were just on. some historic stuff so I like to stay near it depending on how so depending on the wind on opening day it's going to kind of dictate where I go but right now it's next it's a week from today so if it holds true what it says, and I get a north east wind, then this spot's gonna be good. But if not, I'm gonna go somewhere else. There's a couple a couple decent deer that are coming through here. It's a pretty big nine pointer that's coming through. And sorry, spider webs. And then there's there's a really wide eight pointer that's in here too. So we can see how that goes. Feet are down. Alright. Get this stuff set up and we'll uh, we'll go from there. As you can tell right there, corn feeders right here, right over here behind you is the tree that I'm going to climb up in. I'll show it to you guys real quick. It's going to be up there in that tree, right about right in there. It's going to leave me with about 20 yard shot or so. It's pretty thick in here, as you can tell. A ton of cover. I think I can sneak in here pretty quietly and and be all right. Use a climber up there in that tree. Somewhere right up in that area. 
be plenty of cover in there. As long as the wind's blowing back that way, it'll be all right. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna check this troll camera and get out of here real quick. I can show you guys another one of my little tricks that I like to do. Maybe they work, maybe they don't, I don't know. But Better to try something than nothing, right? So I know that I'm gonna be climbing up in this tree right here. It's pretty, it's pretty clear. But down here at the bottom. The noisiest time, I, I like to use a climber a lot. The noisiest time is when you put it on the tree itself. So I try to clear out as much of the space that I can so that nothing's getting in the way. And I can stay as quiet as possible. The only issue with this tree right here is going to be this part right in here is a little bit, it's a little bit narrow. But walking up through here, I can... I can choose my steps right in here and I can stay pretty quiet. You just walk slow. Lead with your heel first, not on your toes. Try to stay off branches and you're all right. And this path right here is already pretty much clear down through here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty well taken care of. All right, get out of here and leave this place alone. walk down here and check another area out that I might be hunting in that I hadn't really I've stayed out of it. It's really it's a really good spot too. Come off the cornfield. The last time I was in there I jumped up a doe. See the good thing about this spot right here is I know deer are gonna be see up I don't know if you can see that or not up through there that way over there there's some cornfields up there and deer are gonna they're gonna come from up from up in there and then they're gonna trickle down through here go up through there and lay down bed down I mean I know there's some deer there in that corn that just ain't just not gonna come out and that's just part of it but Sneak in here next Saturday. Have the white rain with the bright wind. I like my chances. See, like stuff like this right here that I'm going to have to walk through. I know I'm going to have to walk through it. I'm going to be carrying a whole lot more stuff. I'm hitting things now. You better bet that when you bring in your climbing tree sand, your bag, and all that stuff, that you're going to be hitting it. So keep that in mind when you start walking through here. Walking in and out, you knock these things down. So when it comes hot time, you've got a clear path. And yeah, you're going to leave a little bit of scent. But if you do a little bit every now and then, you'll eventually have you a clear path. When it comes hot time, and you won't have to worry about it. Clear path now. Just walk right up through there. Get up there to the tree stand and be good to go. Alright. See this right here, this area right through here is going to be good for me too. Later in the season. Get down in here. Probably climb up one of those oaks right back there. And see out in that whole field. be good. There is a couple other people that hunt here, so I don't like to tell them my strategies. We're on. We don't really hunt together, they just hunt here, but I don't let them in on what I'm doing. But they don't hunt nowhere near as much as I do. see kind of the living area down here so last year 
shot a doe out of a tree right up over there. If you come down that thick stuff over there, you can't really get into it to hunt. Maybe if you're on a ground blind or something, you might could. Other than that, it's going to be tough. It's another good spot right over here. I think it's going to be alright for me. A different set of winds. There's a deer up there, but it's not, I don't think. No, but there used to be a, a guy on the neighboring property. Yeah, his tree stand's still over there. It looks like a bow season stand. It'd have to be. Catch them deer coming out of the cornfields in the morning. That's it. This stuff right here. Good tracks. It's a good deer right there too. I mean this road right here generally. Deer tracks everywhere. I want to take take a kid on youth day this year that's why I'm walking over here now I'm trying to figure out somewhere to get if you look right here that trail walking right up through there to that cornfield we're coming out of it but I'm gonna get out of here I've seen all I needed to see today See you next sun, uh, Saturday, Lord willing. I do need to throw a shout out to my sponsors. Let me rephrase that. Sponsor. It's my wife. She pays for my hobby. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. You're talking about a stone cold deer hunter though. I watched her drop one. Probably about a, maybe about 120, 130 yards. She dropped it. It just wasn't the right deer. <laughs> Story for another day, though. All right. I'll see you guys next uh, next Saturday. You guys can come along with the journey. You guys can make fun of me some if you want. I don't care part of it. Maybe we'll have us another doe down this year, so maybe I won't be quite as cold. And a drag might not be quite as bad. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys on the other side. <laughs>